Hey everyone, Craig here. Just wanted to leave a review after having completed the um, Forbes Riley Eat program, a journal for what you're eating and for what's eating you. And after having finished the program, I really started to think about everything else I've done leading up to this point and before the six weeks of this program. And I've done every diet, fad, system, program that's probably out there, just like a lot of other people have done too. I mean, everything. Low carbs, no carbs, high fat, no fat, low fat, um, everything in between, eating like a caveman, eating like regular people, eating all kinds of different things. And none of those have ever worked for me in the past. You see success and results while you're in there, but inevitably they come to an end. And when they end, you look around and you think, well, what do I do now? I've realized some success, I've lost some weight or I've changed my body, but they, you know, go after the low hanging fruit, the easy problems to solve. You put your on, you're on a system, six, eight, 12 weeks, workouts, meal plans. But when they end, I've looked around and I'm slowly creeping back towards my regular habits because those types of things never go after the core problem, your actual relationships with food and your relationship with everything and people around you and the real drivers of of what you do to choose how you eat and how you interact with food and and actually what what's what's the root cause of of some of the things that you're you're trying to correct. So um, that's where you know I definitely found a difference with this program and it's not a diet. They say it all throughout this book. This is not a diet. Um, nowhere in this book does it say what to eat, how much to eat, count this, measure that. It's not going to be in there whatsoever. You are journaling your food every day, but the biggest part and win for me was the daily exercises and the accountability and sitting with people and sending pictures of my wins and my journaling to my accountability partner throughout all the throughout all the days and throughout all the weeks. And for me, that was really uh, very meaningful and something that I definitely noticed started to change my behavior because I've journaled food a lot throughout my past. I've I journaled food actually right before this I, on my own, just journaling food. And the problem that I always had with it, and it did work periodically, I would choose to not eat things because I didn't want to see it written down. But, you know, it's really easy to lie to yourself. And again, you're not getting at the core problem of, of you know, why you're making some of your decisions. So I came out of this program uh, six weeks in, and I really did feel that I had a different relationship with food, going through some of the exercises and just hearing daily the people's challenges and struggles. And for me, you know, my biggest takeaway, I think, for this was, you know, just taking things one day at a time. A lot of times I look at the totality of a situation and I want to lose a certain amount of weight or I want to change the way I look in the mirror and you get discouraged before you even start because you look at the, the problem uh, holistically, and you're not just taking it day by day. And this book, and this exercise, and these exercises let you slow down, take a breath, day by day, line by line. What are your goals for the week? I want to survive today. I want to do well today. And that's how I approached everything. And and it's been about a week or two after now that the class is finished, and I've I've carried all my habits through with me. I started drinking apple cider vinegar every day, and that's been great. That's like a bolt of lightning rocking through your system every day. I've loved that very much, and. You know, I've also quit drinking diet soda. I used to drink a lot of that during the uh, before and throughout throughout uh, most of my life. So, you know, I made a, a goal to stop drinking that during the program just to stop for a while. And it's just a, a habit that's kind of carried on. And I realize as well, uh, journaling and the accountability when you really crave something or when you just want to eat because you're bored or it's habit. And I realized I had a lot of eating habits. And when you start to challenge some of those things through these exercises and through this book is when you really get a chance to um, understand why you're eating and then recognize that, you know, you're you're not eating because you're hungry. You're just eating because food is there. It's in front of you. It's accessible. So um, I can't say enough about going through this program. I loved it. And, you know, I think everybody should do it. Um, I would recommend it for everyone. And I'll be happy to um, talk it over or partner up with anybody who wants to kind of go through it and I would do it again. Thanks everyone.